Howdy everybody, Srenza here, and today we're going to go over every single way to counter Elf, Elt, and Strive. We're going to go over general things, and character specifics, and situational setups, so let's get started. Let's start with Hereka. First, you have to know that Elf has two different kinds of entries to Hereka. Her fully unsafe entry, where pretty much every listed button can interrupt it, and the safer entries, where only specific buttons can counter the Rekka. The unsafe entries are close slash, far slash, 5k, 2d, 6p, 2s, 2k, and 2h. And the safer entries are 5h and 6h. Let's start with the button 5P. 5P can only counter the unsafe entry, but not all of the entries. It varies per character since not all 5Ps are created equal. Let's start off with the highest frame 5P, 8 frames, and the only character that has this is Bridget. She loses to the close slash, far slash, 2D, 6P, 2S, and 2HS entry, but she wins against the 5K, 2H, sorry, she wins against the 5k and 2k entries with her 5p. <laughs> Moving on to 7 frame 5ps, which is Gold Lewis, Mila, and Axel. They lose to Close Slash and 2H. They trade with 2D, Far Slash, 6P, and 2S. And they win against 5K and 2K. For 6 frame 5Ps, which is Bedman, Sin, Anji, Asuka, and Johnny, they lose to Close Slash in 2H, but they win against 2K, Far Slash, 5K, 2D, 6P, and 2S. <laughs> For 5 frames, we have Soul, Kai, Jacko, Nago, Zato, Eno, Happy Chaos, Elfelt, Leo, Faust, Potemkin, and Ramlethal. Hey, uh, post- uh, <coughs> Hey, post-editing's friends are here. Yeah, I just realized while I was editing my video I said Soul has a 5-framer. He doesn't, he has a 4-framer, so disregard him on this one. He applies to the 4-frame in the next section. And I also say that uh, they 5-frames don't lose to anything. That's a lie, they lose to Close Slash and 2H. They don't trade with it. So I just made an error when I was speaking, so I'm correcting myself right now. But, okay, yeah, continue. They don't lose any of these situations. They trade with Close Slash and 2H, but they win against 5K, 2D, 6P, Far Slash, 2S, and 2K. Moving on to four frames, there's May, Biken, and Geo. Theirs is the exact same as five frames. They trade with Close Slash and 2H, but they win against Far Slash, 2K, 2S, 5K, 6P, and 2D. <laughs> Hey. 
And then for three frame, you know, the only character in the game that's a three frame five P is Chip. He literally beats every single one of those options. If she does unsafe wreck entry, Chip will beat it with five P guaranteed. <laughs> Since Chips beats everything, that also means Soul's 5k, his 3-frame kick, also interrupts all these options. And for Potemkin players, yes, Back Mega Fist beats every single one of these Wrecka points. Every single one of them. Now moving on from 5P, but actually before we move on, I just want to say I don't recommend that you really use 5P unless you have a 5 frame or faster, and even then, don't use them on options you trade with unless you really don't care about losing some health. Just throwing that out there before we move on. Now actually moving on, 6P. Every single 6P in the game will counter an unsafe entry point. Doesn't matter what character it is, if it's one of the unsafe entry points listed, it will hit. I don't have to go over specific characters for this. Meterless reversals and reversal supers also counter entries. <laughs> Okay, now let's move on to the safe entry point, which is 5H and 6H. The only things in the game that will counter this are meterless reversals and supers. So Soul, Kai, Bridget, Biken, Sin, Chip, and Leo can all use DP, or in Biken's case, Parry. The rest of the cast would have to super this. Alright, now let's talk about Flauntless Defense. Flauntless Defense is a good but bad tool at the same time to use against all felt. It counters her safest string to enter uh, Rekka, being close slash 5H into Rekka. It pushes her just barely enough back to the point the Rekka will miss and give you an easy counter rate. <laughs> However, on any of the unsafe options, she still gets into Rekka absolutely free, and on 6H, she still gets into Rekka, but there's a gap in between close slash and 6H that leaves a little gap open for you to press to counteract that kind of string, but her main string is close slash 5H and FD will completely counter that. There is one exception to the close slash 5H thing though, and that's if she sprints for more than half a second. If she does, before she, if she sprints for more than half a second before she close slashes, the Rekka will actually still connect on FD. It's weird, but that's just how it works. But next up, let's talk about Deflect Shield. This is a free get off me if you use it right, but there is a catch to this. You need to keep blocking after certain hit starters at max range. Close slash to 5H, 2H, and 6H. She can whiff the low into shotgun or the low into overhead and hit you immediately and punish your deflex shield. She can't double low, it will miss. But she can also just reset the Rekka after she gets the first entry point deflected and then pressure you after in any way she chooses. <laughs> So Deflight Shield is very high risk, and I honestly don't recommend it at all. The only thing it actually counters is 
low into low. Everything else will lose. Unless she hard mashes like double overhead. For backdashing Rekka, it's difficult, but every character can do it. On the unsafe option, literally every character, no matter what frame their backdash is, doesn't matter if it's, I think the lowest is 18, or it doesn't matter if it's 24 like the Temkins. They can backdash the Rekka and grab it off of any unsafe entry point. But, on the flip side, for the safe options, you need to have a 22 frame backdash or faster to backdash grab. Safe options, again, being 5H and 6H. So if you have a 23 or 24 frame backdash, which is Sin, Nago, Potemkin, and Bedman, you can't do it. Unless I'm just really bad at backdashing with these slow characters, but I was trying for literally 45 minutes and I never got it to happen once. So I'm assuming they can't do it. Unless, I, unless someone better than me with these heavy characters can prove me wrong, then they can't do it. Now, let's talk about when she gets her Rekka going, and she's in. Let's say everything you did beforehand didn't work, and she happened to get into her Rekka. After her entry point, you have to take a 50-50 high-low. And if you block the 50-50 high-low, you have many options if she tries to reset you. 5 frame, 5p, or faster will interrupt the reset. So 6 frame, 7 frame, and 8 frame 5p will lose to reset if you block, but 5 frame, 4 frame, and 3 frame will work. She will get knocked off of you. Every 6p in the game works if you block 6p to, for the reset. That's not character specific at all. And regardless of the Rekka hits you, or you block the high-low, meterless reversals and reversal supers will hit her if she attempts to reset. Even on hit, or block, does not matter. Reversals will hit her on reset. Now, she can also do overhead low, or overhead into shotgun, or low into shotgun, or low overhead, whatever. And, you know, you can't interrupt that. So, if you, if you just have to eat RPS there, and hope you get lucky. But, yeah, that's... But there's lots of ways of countering the actual reset part, if you read that she's gonna reset. Okay, that's everything for the Rekka. Now let's move on to Pineberry or Grenade Toss. This move can be instant air grabs if you predict it, and it will interrupt everything she tries to do. Any high hitting 5P can interrupt any starter to the Grenade Toss, but low 5P will miss. Souls 5k will also hit, but only at a distance, so if she does like 2hs or close slash, it won't hit, but if she does it from like far slash, the 5k will connect. So, there's that. The only 6p in the game that counters grenade toss from any range is Gold Lewis, but it loses to the safe entry points, 5 and 6h. Leo, which... His 6P will hit any entry, no matter what. And Potemkin, which will trade on the safe entry, but he wins every other time. Any other 6P can hit if she does Grenade Toss max range, like Testament, or it's guaranteed to miss, like Chips and Ramlethals. Just depends on your hitbox of the 6P at that point. I'll admit, I'm unsure about the interaction between Sin, Johnny, and Asuka's 6P, since I don't own the characters, and I'm not gonna spend $15 on them just to make this short part of the video. So, if a player of, you know, those three characters could leave a comment clarifying for me how the 6P interacts on ranges, I would appreciate it. Moving on. 
any meterless reversal besides biken because grenade toss is a projectile which you can't reversal projectiles can hit a grenade toss out of the air if it's an unsafe entry any unsafe entry besides biken's reversal dp will hit it it's just guaranteed on every character that has a dp <laughs> Now, safe entry DP is a little weird, depending on the character. For example, if you do the safe entry on Soul to grenade toss, Soul's DP just loses outright. Leo will trade on the safe entry. Chip will trade on the safe entry. Kai's just wins no matter what. He, every time you do anything, he will hit you with that DP. Bridget's will also hit no matter what. Now, while running close slash is a different story. So you remember how I said it has weird interactions like FD to where earlier the record would connect if you were sprinting, did like close slash into it? Yeah, so the grenade toss works the same way. So while running close slash, uh, Soul will completely whiff and get hit by the grenade if it's a while running close slash grenade toss. Chip will whiff, but he won't take damage. So it's just back to neutral. Kai will hit you. Bridget will hit you. Leo will trade. I <laughs> I know I didn't mention Sin, but like I said, I don't have him to clarify all these. I'm pretty sure he misses on while running close slash grenade toss, at least I'm pretty sure. So like I said, if someone could test these and leave a comment, I'd appreciate it. Because I just I just don't have those the character, so that would just be helpful. Thank you. And uh, to pot players, yes, back Mega Fist works. But she can air grab you out of back mega fist if she reads you hard. So just be careful about that. Deflect shield completely negates the grenade. She'll go flying full screen. You won't take damage. She can't punish you for using it at all. Backdash will lose to grenade toss. Just don't even try it. You're going to get hit by the grenade. And Flauntless Defense does pretty much nothing. Outside of the corner, if you're mid-screen, she still lands right next to you or right behind you, depending on the spacing. And in the corner, she's still on top of you. And can still close slash you after or any other button, you'll still connect. So FDing it is pretty much pointless unless you're just going to die from chip damage if you don't. Anyways, these are all the things that I know about how to actually deal with Elfelt's Rekka and Grenade Toss. If I miss anything that's general or a character specific thing, please let me know so that way I can add it in the comments for anybody that's curious. But uh, yes, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.